Okay, so on the financial front, let's look at that first. Um, you're going to be reassessing a lot of um, a lot of you will be reassessing your employment opportunities, and um, I feel that for those of you who have been in a job for a really long time, it's looking to be like seven years, seven months. You're taking a second look at it, and you're trying to see if it's even worth your effort and if it's worth continuing, okay? So um, in terms of the past, I do feel that the financial payout from this job itself might not have been satisfactory. So you're really thinking about the situation, and you're thinking about um, starting new things or looking elsewhere. And I would definitely advise you that um, with the Wheel of Fortune and the Judgment card in the reverse position, this is not the right time for you to jump the gun on this and leave your job. And I feel that even if you were to do that, um, a new opportunity might not come in right away. So you might be financially strapped. So try to stay put if you can. And then wait until, let me see. So you're a fire sign. Yeah, this is not the month to do it. Wait until uh, the beginning of May. Continue at your job, but um, you know you can start looking elsewhere. That's fine. But you have to have a contingency plan and like um, have something um, insert uh, for certain before you can jump ship. Okay, so just really uh, take the time and be patient about this job environment. I feel that you're not completely happy as well with the people that might be around you, and um, a lot of you might be offered a job, and it, it's um like financially is not um the the salary is not commensurate with your skill level but you feel that the job itself the new job might have a lot of like um it, it might be fun it might be more emotionally aligned with what you really want out of a job so you're operating in a purely uh, speculative and in a purely emotional irrational manner so be very careful about accepting new jobs because um, the financial payout is not going to be to your liking. So even though you feel that you can get by with less and you want to really take on this new job mainly because it's new and it's going to be more emotionally fulfilling, I don't feel it is going to be in the long run. So be really careful about um, doing anything new or um, quitting your job and you know pursuing the other thing for this month. Okay, The best time to do it is um, from the 21st on as well. And especially in May, if you can hold off in May too, I feel that uh, it would be more beneficial. Mainly because I have these three major arcana cards in the reverse position. So I would say like it's not really the time to do anything new. To do anything drastic, especially like quitting a job or jumping ship and hopping onto a new job or going forward with new ideas and things like that. There are definitely very severe blockages here with all these three cards in the reverse position. So um, don't try to switch things up on the work front, okay? They will stabilize on their own without... Yeah, they definitely will by the end of this month. They'll stabilize on their own, so be really careful about that. For those of you who are going... Who are like... Um, romantically involved with people at work you know it's never a good thing but if you find yourself in that situation that might be why you're thinking about leaving the job so just know that um the energy itself um it it's going to like um it seems hurtful and it seems unbearable while you're in the midst of it but um in hindsight like you know weeks from now months from now you're going to look back and it's going to seem like kind of comical so don't live too much in your head and don't worry about um, the other people that might be involved or that might know about the entanglements you have with like rom uh, office love affair don't worry about it too much. I, I feel that a lot of your fears might be imagined, okay? So be careful about that if you're in, um, like, office romances, all right? So so um, that clears up the work front. Okay, so um, the financial situation, I feel that you're fine. You're not in poverty or anything like that, so don't worry about it too much. And at the same time, you do want a new job, mainly for the emotional uh, fulfillment, mainly for, like, a new opportunity. Anything new will do, so you might jump the gun a little bit. But um, don't leave a stable job for something that is speculative, and especially mainly because, just because it's new, you know, so be a little more practical and um, be patient about this situation okay um okay so let's look at romance romance looks um looks very split okay so i do see a uh let's see here 
I do see a water sign and a an earth sign. So those two are, you know, if you're debating between a water sign and an earth sign, let's the water sign is um, a little bit younger. The earth sign is about your age, uh, depending on your age. But um, I feel that the water sign is quite young and the earth sign is somebody that you're uh, that you feel is a little more established, is a little more stable. Um, I can't say, you know, tell you like who to choose. If you want newness, if you want like fun, and if you want like new opportunities just for the sake of newness, then go with the water sign and just keep in mind that it is a very different energy than yours because um, you are a fire sign and there are a lot that you can learn from the other person, but um, it's going to be more beneficial for the water sign because they have a lot more to learn from you since they're younger and you can share your life experiences with them and your wisdom with them. So I don't feel that relationship, aside from like being, uh, I guess, like a physical relationship, is not going to offer you any sense of newness or any sense of like... Um, uh, I guess like additional wisdom you have in your life but at the same time we always learn new things from people who are different from our ourselves so I wouldn't worry about that too much you know just go for it I do feel the earth sign is a lot more stable but um the earth energy is um is not as compatible um mainly because this earth sign is going to be require a lot of work okay because um they're not very um they're very careful and um, they protect their heart too so they're not going to be very willing to open themselves up so it's going to take a lot of time so for those of you who are looking for you know just a physical relationship that um, that water sign is uh, less work but if you want like more long-term more compatibility more um, I guess camaraderie within the relationship then go for that earth sign okay um, let me see here so it can get a little confusing me and that's why i mentioned there is a split here because we do have the queen of pentacles here for those of you who are dealing with yeah this is definitely a person from the past so that water sign that earth sign those are new energy okay for those of you who are dealing with an earth sign from the past i would advise you not to um to let that one go just let it go completely i feel that it's either or so you're either dealing with an earth sign now which is um now i mean that it could potentially come in that you've never had a romantic history with or you've never had any type of a relationship with and this is totally new energy then that's stable but if you're dealing with somebody from the past who is trying to cycle back in then um, no good will come out of it and i can assure you you've put a lot of work into the um the the relationship they're reaping all the benefits and you're reassessing it and that's why you know they're no longer in your life so if they're coming back in any type of way it's not going to pan out and there's going to be arguments associated with it okay so just let that person go and let new energy f flow in because you do have um a lot more people in your um in your circle who might be interested and who might be a little more compatible with you so in general um, for those of you who are uh, who are in stable relationships too, I feel that uh, relationships are definitely fine. There might be a little bit of a financial mishap, like a hiccup, in which the other one one partner or the other partner might be you or the other partner, excuse me, might be overspending and they might be like uh, swandering your hard-earned money. If that's the case, then I feel like it is a quick fix. They're not aware of it, so you can easily talk it out. I don't feel that it is going to be, um, you know, irreversible or ir irreconcilable. So, you know, have a, a go at it and try to fix that situation. Um, I'm looking at this Nine of Swords and I feel it is a... a okay so let's put it this way for male leos if you are dealing with a person from your past who is cycling in and who has caused you a lot of grief but this time they're making promises that they're going to change and things like that and um they're offering you you know like um they're trying to i guess um they're trying to make amends I just want you to be really aware of this person from your past because no good can ever come out of it either. And uh, what I do sense here is this person was somebody who damaged you very severely in the past, okay? 
and with them cycling in again you're not going to get the outcome that you want and if anything they're going to stab you in the back as well with this situation okay so um just just let them go once and for all and just let that um let them find somebody else that is more willing to put up with their falseness because i don't feel that's a good person for you to be with nor is it the right person and for those of you who are um so you know look elsewhere look look at other people because you do have new people that want to be with you who are a lot more sincere um, and a lot more likable too and a lot more honest so at least you know they're in the upright position okay okay so um let's see what else i can pick up here okay so i've already emphasized that um yeah, if it's somebody from the past, you're not going to be able to create a new outcome with this situation. If it is a water sign that you're dealing with in any t in a romantic relationship, somebody that is a little bit younger than you, then I do feel that in general, um, the new beginning that you're hoping to achieve with this person is basically being blocked. Mainly because, like I said, you know, if it is just a physical relationship, that's fine. But um. In terms of having creating anything long lasting, you have three blockages here on the relationship front. So I don't feel it's going to work out in your favor, mainly because um, the blockages are coming in to signal to you that that is not the right person. This next person coming in would be much more compatible and much more like um, conducive to longevity. Okay, so keep that in mind as well. I I know it's like some things might get um. So, for example, if you're dating again and there are just a lot of like uh, hurdles that you have to overcome in order to be with the other person, it's uh, it's mainly a test from the universe telling you like how much work do you really want to put in and how how willing are you to overcome the hard work required of you to be with this other person. So the blockages are here and I feel that, you know, you have the sustaining power but the younger person or the... A water sign might be hesitant and they will actually at the sign of trouble they actually leave the picture whereas this earth sign that is coming in is a lot more beneficial for you okay so that's the way I look at energies usually because um this is kind of like these three blockages are like the the gatekeeper they screen out the people that um, that leave at the first sign of trouble and they filter the people that are able to stick around and that have honest intentions they they stay behind okay so that's the way i'm looking at this situation so there are going to be delays because a better thing an, a better opportunity is going to come in for you and this is going to work out in on the financial front as well the same energy is playing out in terms of work and job opportunities okay so you might have one opportunity you're seriously thinking about it because um, you're just like at least it's new you know at least I hope it's going to bring me emotional fulfillment but at the same time you have all these hurdles that you have to overcome and then that um, opportunity that job opportunity gets rescinded so that's something else better for you can come into the picture so keep that in mind blockages are not always bad they sometimes prevent us from doing the wrong things so either way you know um, it's important to know your true intention so for example if you want something just because it's different just because it's new just know that's a um, it's not going to be very stable usually it's not mainly because um, we quickly get bored of novelty and being a fire sign you can also you know um, burn out with novelty items okay so just be honest with your intentions okay so um, let me see if there is anything else that I've left out um, I'm like I plan to take more time with these mainly because I'm doing the love and the general reading combined so I want to give like a a well-rounded like um, explanation of all the energies that are presented in the cards yeah so the only thing I would say is you know do try to take it slow this month because although we are in a fellow fire sign I feel there are definitely blockages blockages to um, to the things that you're trying to implement in your life and I feel that these blockages are mainly in place not because um, of the cosmic energies but mainly because you are um, 
you are reassessing a lot of things and you might be heading in the wrong direction due to um, due to a sense of boredom and due to mainly not having clarity so for example if you have been assessing new relationships or new job opportunities you know since last month when the sun was in the sign of uh, pisces then your um your ability to think rationally your ability to reason is a little muddy is, is a little muddled and a little clouded mainly because a water sign is um when the con sun is in a constellation of a water sign you're not really looking at things objectively enough so if that is residual energy concerning your finances your work and your relationships there are definitely blockages in, in moving forward with those things mainly because they're not good for you to begin with so i feel that you might have been off track like in march but um, coming in, the new energy is more conducive for new opportunities, especially on all those three fronts like finances, career, and love opportunities. And um, it's going to show itself like towards from the 21st on in the time of Taurus. Things would definitely look up for you as well. Um, and you're going to be guided in the right direction. So the blockages will seem very, very annoying more than anything. But um, I feel that they're necessary for you to take a little more time to re-examine the things that you really want, okay? So just keep that in mind. Um, they're not bad energies. I do feel that these are very, very strong blockages placed in your life, mainly because um, you might be heading in the wrong direction with this, okay? So just be careful. But I do feel everything will get resolved at the end. You have a, a really good resolution here in which, you know, people that you've had disagreements with in the past, they are seeing, they are coming around and seeing things from your perspective. At the same time, you're going to realize that, okay, they're operating from a place of insecurity. So if I were to you want to offer them your help, your financial help even, or, you know, just being like a, a stable influence in their lives, they're going to stop fighting you. Okay, so they're operating from a place of immaturity and you're going to be the voice of reason as well to appease this situation in the uh, that you've had to contend with for quite some time. All right, so in general, um, the month looks very good. Um, Oh, and let's just address the lovers here because um, it's just screaming out. So um, re the relationships look very good and it is very possible for you to meet the right person for those who are single and looking or who are dating but haven't like settled down to a stable relationship yet. I do feel that um, there is going to be a very, very stable person coming in for you. Okay, so this is um, somebody who's very financially secure, who is very, um, who's very generous and, and giving and at the same time they are, they have a lot of life experience but I feel that they, they tend to take a back take a, a laid back approach they're there when you need them but they don't encroach upon your space which is a very good um, love partner for you all right so everything else looks very good though so don't get discouraged um, if you encounter blockages the only thing I would say is really reassess the situations that you're dealing with and don't try to fight it okay because you have three major arcana cards all indicating blockages so don't try to fight it and don't um, don't get discouraged. They are definitely there for a reason. And they're going to help you in the long run. You're not going to be able to see it this month, but um, they will definitely help you. And they're screening out the riffraff from your life for you, 